thing work? Yep. May I have your attention, judges and PTA volunteers, to the finals of this year's high school cheerleaders contest. Our three schools will arrive tomorrow, along with their chaperone, Miss McDougal. Remember, we're responsible for the safety and the morals of these kids while they're here. Now, if you will open your folders, we'll start with Pierce High. It's a nice middle-class school. This will be its third consecutive year here. Next is Polk High. It's one of our uh, tougher schools, but I'm sure these are all fine young ladies. And you've all heard of Darwell High, where some of the finest families in the state send their children. God, my dears, what an effort this whole thing's going to be. Can you imagine? A weekend in Sacramento. Boring. Not much to look forward to, is it? A ride on a bus? Slumming it with that polyester double-knit crowd from Pierce? <laughs> Kel trash, eh? Let me remind you that there is a long-standing rivalry among these three schools, so let's hope we'll all get along like one big happy family. We wouldn't want anything to happen. <laughs> Don't start me. girl can't beat some bloodless bitch from Darwell. I'll take your challenge. 
You go first. Oh, I like it. I like it. I like it. <laughs> no problem. Come on, Darla. Uh, 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 Pierce, you can do it. Come on. Uh, oh, my Lord. Look at that. She's <laughs> got the lady. Huh. Lady. Uh, oh, man. Come on, Mama. Be so proud of you. Yes, yeah, she would. <laughs> <laughs> Then why don't you show us a little of it, Lisa? And why don't you shove it, my dear? Oh, Lisa! Oh. <laughs> All right, let's do number 69. Okay! High above the L.A. River, there's an awful sound. Oh, oh. Come the L.A. your car at? That's right over there. <laughs> you all set? Yep. First and ten. Pretty good scout report, huh?
Excuse me, ladies, can I have your attention, please? Um, there's no cause for alarm. Wait to take your driver off the bus. Fortunately, however, we have a replacement driver. So you'll be in Sacramento before you know it. I'll be riding with you the rest of the way. And I'm sorry for any inconvenience. Too old for you, so you might as well go back to sleep. I refer to a clean-limbed lad named Wayne Matthews. Uh, you've got to be wondering right now just how old Wayne is feeling. One of the tragedies in the arena of life. A great painter loses his talent, he cuts off his ear. A quarterback loses his throwing arm, he's cut from the rust. He's the in the prime their career. Wonder what they'll do now. Calm down. We'll explain everything to you once you're inside the house. Now let's step down off the bus one at a time. Miss Big Juggle. should have been in Sacramento by now. What should we do? young ladies want to get to know Rufus here, just stay on the bus. Now the rest of you can start stepping off one at a time. Starting with you.
Okay, I want to quiet in here. Okay. Quiet, I said. Cool it. I want you to take those mattresses. I want you to set them on the floor. And I want you to sit down. Now! Here you are. Miss McDougal? Miss McDougal, too. Oh, Okay, now listen up, girls. As long as you all cooperate with this, nobody's gonna be hurt. Uh, look, let me have that. Ladies, you are all the prisoners now of the National American Army of Freedom. And you bitches are gonna obey our orders or we gonna kick some ass around here. We're not gonna have a lot of orders. This is all going to be very simple. Just in case you guys try anything crazy, we're going to have to take one little extra precaution. Hey, uh, what's going on here? I want you girls to think of this as a game. You guys are going to be the cheerleaders. We're going to be the ball players. Hey, I, I thought we was kidnapping them, Wayne. All right, girls. I'm going to ask you to take off your shoes and socks, and I want you to pile them up over there by Big John. No. Look, don't do it, anybody. <coughs> hey, you think we're fucking around here? Huh? Huh? Hey! Hey, man, let's just stick to the game plan. <coughs> okay, now I want you all to take your shoes and socks off. Baby, you got the skill to make a playboy's love for real. Again tonight, ain't nothing to it but to do it with the do it fluid. Look, baby, I gotta go. See you at about 8 o'clock, okay? Ciao. All right, now rally, rally, rally around the radio. This is your lead, the honey, joyful Jerome, as we get down to the number one sound. Cream of the crop, simply because it's at the top, and I do dig it, yeah. What kind of yeah, come on in. Now, Jerry, this is Detective Fuller and uh, Burns, uh, Sergeant Burns. 
Happy to meet you, gentlemen. Can I get you some coffee or something? Uh, uh, these gentlemen are from the police department. They want to talk to you, okay? Talk to me. Is your name Joyful Jerome? Huh? No, Jerome Davis is my name. I'm only called Joyful Jerome on the radio. Just excuse me, I'll see you later. Um, Mr. Davis, uh, are you familiar with the disappearance last night of that busload of teenage girls? Yeah, those cheerleaders. Yeah, I delivered that news break about half hour ago. Uh, what do you know about the uh, National American Army of Freedom? The what? Would you like to tell him what the note said? Or shall I? Oh, I've got a copy of it right here. Now, you're supposed to read what's written here at exactly 10 o'clock. Greetings from the National American Army of Freedom. We have the missing girls and their chaperone. Have Joyful Jerome acknowledged receipt of this note at 10 o'clock. We want $2 million. That shouldn't be too hard. Details will follow. Hit line request for pretty girls, Shirley. Joyful Jerome playing the type of music you want to hear. Sir? Sir? Yes, what is it? Well, I'm hungry. Hungry? Yeah, well, I guess we all get hungry sometimes. You hungry, baby? Here, I got something for you to eat. Oh. Hey, man, don't start doing shit like this or we ain't gonna have a chance in this game. Look, the lady said she was hungry. I was just gonna give her some so lummy. <laughs> what does that mean? Okay, if you guys are hungry, we're going to eat. Who can cook? Come on, let's see some hands. I can cook, Wayne. We need more eggs. There's more nice ones. not the way you're supposed to scramble eggs. Why not, smartass? Because you're just not. Well, you're not supposed to use a wooden spoon, for one thing. Oh, la di da Well, my mother makes them this way, and they taste pretty good to me. Give me that spoon. Oh, oh, hey, cut it out. Hey, cut, cut it out. out. Now, cool, cool it. Come on. What the hell difference does it make what kind of spoon you use, anyway? No difference. All right, now go on over there and make some coffee. You want to give us a hand? Yeah. I think they found that driver okay. Yeah. Shit, I barely tapped him. They're going to be talking to us. Sure as hell, hope you're right. Don't worry. They're in a punting situation. They've got to talk to us. What else are they going to do? Shine, not rain. I once in a lifetime and I are together again. Seconds. Fingers, the rains have washed clean. This time it's me. Now the key. And now, brothers and sisters, a very special dedication. This is it. A very special dedication to all the gang down at the National American Army of Freedom. That's it. Okay, I'll make the first call in an hour. We'll be on our way. Does that mean you're going to let us go? Everything goes according to plan. You guys are all going to be home in 24 hours. But what if it doesn't? It'll be over in 24 hours anyway. Hey, Wayne, what plan? Oh, it's a good plan. I have a, a brief statement here that the governor has personally asked for the citizens of the state. 
I know that every citizen of our state joins with me in expressing my heartfelt sympathy to the families of the 15 girls who were so ruthlessly abducted last night. I know, too, that they share with me a sense of outrage at this cruel and unprovoked act against these innocent girls. I want to assure you that every effort is being made to locate the girls and to bring them home. In the meantime, our prayers are with each and every one of you. What about the ransom? Obviously, obviously, the state cannot be a party to the payment of any ransom. That would be illegal. But that's Tartan. two million dollars! Find our daughters! Yeah. Yeah. However, however, the governor has introduced emergency legislation that will make it possible for you parents to borrow your share of the ransom money from the state at a very low rate of interest. Interest rate? What the hell are you talking about? Interest rate? Yeah. My daughter's on of course, of course, you'll have to pass the standard credit check. Credit check? Are you serious? I want to see the governor. Well, I'm sure if the governor were here himself that he would agree with me that perhaps you should have had the foresight to save something for a rainy day. Stalin's what you do. These little emergencies do arise. Something. There's a lot about this I don't understand. You're different from the others. We're going to make a lot of money out of this. I thought you guys were supposed to be some sort of revolutionaries or something. Oh, that's George's idea. It makes him feel tough. What are you doing it for? Well, see, me and Wayne, we're brothers, and we promised our folks we'd always stick together. Does that include kidnapping? Once again, that kidnapped hotline number is 650-8660. The governor's office does not believe that any of the girls have been harmed. What's the matter? I don't know. All I know is I'm scared. I got something to make you feel better. Now be nice. <laughs> I, don't, I didn't mean that. I mean, no, I have some downers if you want them. What kind? Lutes? Frankie, give them to me. Well, she's a real pill freak. Could I have one for Jeannie, too? She just moved into this country two months ago, and she's really freaked out. Sure, hell. You can have them all. I don't even use them. Thanks, Billy. Oh, coffee. <laughs> Operator, let me have two four four one six two four. Ready? <clears throat> yeah, hello. Hi. Yeah, that's me. Okay, listen, I'm only gonna say this once. We got the girls and they're all in good health. They'll stay that way as long as you do exactly what we ask. We want two million dollars. We want an unmarked old bill without any consecutive serial numbers. We want it in 24 hours. Arrange this. And play Little Lost Ladies at exactly 5 o'clock. Let me know what you have. Wait a minute. How do we know you've got the girls, and how do we know they're all right? Good point. I'll let you know next time I talk to you. In the meantime, get the money ready. Well, wait a minute. Not bad. What? Searching for a needle in a haystack. Yeah. I never did understand that. What? Search for a needle in a haystack. I mean, you could, you could just go buy enough a needle. How much could it cost? You're right, man. If you ever lose a needle in a haystack, don't let anybody talk to you in a certain way. Don't you worry. I got better things to do with my time than that. Burn. Yeah, but... Yeah.
Down a, what does this mean? Where? This, right here. Wait a second. all killed? At least I did something. Instead of you just sitting around on your lazy, no-good ass. The trouble with you, my dear, is your ass is too fucking tight to sit on. I got to stand up for my soul, sisters. I'll take this one over here. Say, Mama. Come here. Don't do it. Don't worry. What's up? As if I didn't know. See what I mean? Now, this is what I call a fine, foxy frame of femininity. Hey, Frankie. Who's your favorite? Well, I've grown quite fond of all these young ladies, George. I don't think I could pick just one. But if I had to... I guess this one. Hey, that's the one I was talking about. Don't worry about it, my good man. There's lots more where that came from. Hey, Billy. You got one? Oh, uh, I don't know. Hey, you gotta like somebody, man. Unless... You ain't funny, are you? Hell no. Uh, that one. It's you, my dear. Hey, how about that, sports fans? We got ourselves three schools represented. Hey, let's get a little recreation going on around here. I'll tell you what. Why don't we have a goddamn beauty contest? And relieve some of that, uh, tension. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Now, the school that wins... Uh, gets turned loose? No. A free phone call home. On my bona phone. What does a bona phone mean? You call that a prize? Sure do. And I hope you win, bitch. Well, as you heard, the governor has apparently made an offer to the uh, parents of the kidnapped uh, girls, uh, together with a certain amount of sympathy. And uh, he did say that he'd introduce legislation uh, that uh, would provide uh, loans at moderate interest rates, provided uh, credit check could be passed. This is Max Wellman at the Department of Interior. you got to buy us some more time. Yeah, I know. I'm a lover and player of life, and I wish that every woman could be my wife. Joyful Jerome with the most requested sound of the hour. Get off the pole. Let's go. Hurry up. That certainly ends the personality part of a contest. Judges, what do you think? 
The hell of personality. Well, ladies and gentlemen, judges said that they haven't seen enough to make a judgment on. So I guess we're going to have to start eliminating. And I know you ladies don't want to be eliminated. <gasps> Hold everything. We got ourselves a brand new ball game here. Judges, give the young lady from Polk 10 points. Oh. Now, I got a 15-point bonus for the school who's interested in winning. George, I got one worth 20. All in good time, my man. All in good time. And here's our first contestant from Polk. And what is your name, honey? Michelle Thomas. Oh, come on. You can do better than that. You've been doing good so far. I'll give it the old try. Now, what is your name? Sally. Sally Lou Simpson. Sally Lou Simpson. I'm from Biloxi, Mississippi. And my hobby is twirling a baton. And I do believe in family planning. Ladies and gentlemen, judges, Miss Sally Lou Simpson. Leading our contestants out on the runway and into your heart. Judges, ladies and gentlemen, here they are. If I'm the one, I attain sociability. If I'm the one, I accept notoriety. If I'm the one, I just know. Now for uh, our judges, audience, and uh, you folks at home. The final viewing of this year's contestant. Let me do some measuring. clothes on. You come with me. And I'll give you a bath. I'm a school nurse. And I know exactly what you need. You say anything about this to anybody. I'll cut him off. Understand? It is now five o'clock, and to the National American Army of Freedom, I dedicate little lost ladies. But first, First, let me express the hope that you have at least 15 proof. That's right, only 15 proof will do. But in the meantime, here's the sound of little lost ladies. Shit. I think you'll get that money for us, man. Yeah, just political ball. I'll get the money. They gotta have proof. Oh, fuck him, man. It's a trick. He's just trying to stall for time. Yeah, I'll just take one of the girls with me and make my next call. That's fucking risky, man. And I ain't letting any of these bitches out of here. Just keep your mind in the game and leave this to me, huh? Hey, I am getting sick and tired of taking my orders from you. Look, George. Don't do this to us, man. We got the momentum. Let's keep it. Listen, they want proof that you girls are all right. So I want you to come with me. Why me? Oh, poor dear. 
I can't let her do it. Take me. He asked for me. Okay. Well, when do we have to go? Right now. over there by Rufus. Well, won't he bite me? Sure, he wants to bite you, but uh, he'd never bite you unless George says so. But no funny business. No kidding. me. What is it? May I go to the bathroom? Yeah, go ahead. Thanks for helping me out, okay? That's okay. It's nice to be outside for a while. Uh, you know what you said before? About me not being like the others? Mm-hmm. Did you really mean it? Mm-hmm. Listen, I'll tell you the truth. If things were different, I really wouldn't mind. But not like this.
I'll be right outside this door. So don't try anything foolish. What's the matter? You keep an eye on things here. I'll be back in a few. Deborah Williams. I'm the daughter of Jarman and Myron Williams of 943 Ventura Boulevard. Uh, I I have a small brown mole on my right shoulder blade. Uh, every, everybody calls me Debbie, except my, my dad. He just calls me Debs. Um, every, everyone is, is okay, except that we all want to come home. Please, please, give them, give them whatever they want. Please, so we can come home. Well, there's your proof. I'm going to be talking to you tomorrow at noon. You got that money ready by then? Because that's all the time you're getting. Hey, relax, relax. It's over. It's all over. Were you able to trace it? We got a 6-8, Lieutenant, but that could be any exchange. You're talking about a radius of more than 50 miles. Oh, bad shit. is worth it. And if it doesn't? Things always work out for me. I was all-state high school, all-American college. I had leased cars, paid for apartments, full scholarships. And I ended up making money doing what I like to do. So what happened? I busted my arm in three places. Kind of like a racehorse that can't run anymore. Only well, this is one horse that's not going to stop running. Not this soon. That's the whole point. You're going to have to be running for the rest of your life. Look, the way I figure you make one big play at the right time, you change your whole life. Pretty risky play. I like taking chances. So would you take a chance with me? What do you mean? Well, look, I'm not going anywhere. Do you think you could undo this? <laughs> I couldn't do that. You might try something funny on me. No, I wouldn't. Yeah, you would. No, I wouldn't. Yeah, you would. No, I wouldn't. Would you? I might. Climb the highest mountain, swim the deepest. 
see, ask the octopus or the penguin. They can all tell you about me. Joyful Jerome, keeping the world alive while the squares sleep. Here's music for lovers and lovers only. Hey, I can't let you do that. Why not? You might try something funny. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. Yes, you would. No, I wouldn't. Yes, you would. No, I wouldn't. Would you? I might. Bitch must have jumped out of the window. I'll finish you right here, you asshole. You want him looking for us the rest of our life? Did you tell anybody anything about me working you over before? I don't care what my ass is. I'll kill you. You got that? I'll kill you. Get your ass in there. That was a real stupid thing she did. Now, for your sake, and for our sake, let's not try any more of these crazy stunts. And by this time tomorrow night... Gonna be home with our families. So just lay back and try to get some sleep. Thank you, got first shift. And you, Billy.
What happened out there? They caught after in the woods. Is she all right? I think so, but she's scared to death. Who is isn't. We got to get out of here. I know. But we've all got to stop fighting each other and work together for a change. And so the monarchs have advanced another ten yards. Francis, can you think of a single spot on this good green earth where you would rather be right at this moment? No, sir. Here you are. You set? I'm ready, let's go. Hey. Let's make sure you don't forget where we live, huh? Joyful drone? Have you got the mic? Yeah, I've got it. Okay. 
Just let the money in a Safeway shopping bag and staple it shut at the top. Bring the bag of money to the Warwick Hotel at 12 o'clock. Come alone. You bring anybody else with you, this deal's off. Wait in the lobby by the payphone. Uh-huh. I'll be talking to you at 12 o'clock. Well, now, how about... Oh, rat shit. Four thousand.
money to the Meridian Train Yard Depot. The bag on the bench by the passenger fund. You got ten minutes. Okay, bring it back down. They want us to bring the money over to Meridian Train Depot. And I want everybody over there on the double. Yes, sir. You did some shopping, huh? give them five more minutes. You know, this is just like a TV show I saw a couple of months ago. Yeah. Yeah. See, it was these guys did this kidnapping. And, uh, and they pulled the same thing. You know, having somebody uh, bring the money to the lobby of the hotel and all. Yeah. Yeah. You know, put the cash on the elevator the same way. Only, uh, they did one thing that was different. What was that? Well, well, they had a guy on top of the elevator. And when the bag was in there all by itself, he, he slipped down grabbed the dough, slipped back up through the trap door, and his partner was waiting for him all the while right here in the lobby of the hotel. God damn it. Check that bag. Ah! <laughs> 
Some look for silver, some thirst for gold. Some look for diamonds, some look for gold. And when they had a nose, I questions get the car Billy I'll drive. Now that's what I call a winning season. I can't believe it. Bet you George will. Ooh, wow. <laughs> Who's here? What are you 